So in this video, we're going to learn a special type of factoring that we're going to be using next week. And this is called factor by grouping. So what we're going to do here is we are going to group our first two terms together. So I'm going to group these two terms together. And I'm also going to group our second two terms together. And we're going to use that idea that we used in the last video of factoring a GCF out of both of these. So when I take a look at this x cubed and x squared, what can I take out of both of them? We can take an x squared. And then I open my parentheses up and I'm going to divide each of these by x squared. And x cubed divided by x squared is just x. And x squared divided by x squared, this is going to give us a minus 1. Now take a look at your second set, 3x and negative 3. What do those have in common? Those have a factor of 3 out. And when your second grouping starts with a positive, we're going to take a positive out. So we're going to take out a positive 3. And again, that's like dividing each of these terms by 3. And 3x divided by 3 is just x minus a 3 divided by 3 is 1. And now take a look at this. Something special happened here. And this works with all factor by grouping problems. Do you see that? Um, do you see that right here? My x's, th these things inside the parentheses, match up. So what we're going to do is now that those match up, we are going to factor one of those out. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is each of these terms, so this term here, and this term here both have the x minus 1 in common. So I write the x minus 1 out front. That's like dividing each of these terms by x minus 1, dividing this term by x minus 1, dividing this term by x minus 1. What happens is these cancel out. And what's left here is you can see that over here I just have an x squared left over. So an x squared goes in the box. Here, these x minus 1s are going to cancel. And you can see that's all that's left here is going to be a positive 3. And you see what just happened is <clears throat> we now have this factored into the product of two binomials. It's a little strange, so let's try another one of these. Um, let's walk through this process. Again, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to group these two terms together, and we're going to group these term terms together. So when I take a look at this one, a squared, or a cubed and 8a squared, we know that we can take out an a squared. So again, I divide each of these by a squared. So I'm going to have left over a cubed divided by a squared is a. 8a squared divided by a squared, we're going to have a positive 8 here. And now we need to do something special here. When our second grouping starts with a negative, we're always going to factor out a negative GCF. So I have a negative 5a and a negative 40. So I'm going to factor out a minus 5. So I write the minus 5 here, and I'm going to divide each of these terms by negative 5. If I didn't factor by negative 5, these are not going to match up. So negative 5a divided by negative 5 is a positive a, and a negative 40 divided by a negative 5 is a positive 8. And now you see I have an a plus 8 that both of these have. So what we're going to do is we're going to write the a plus 8 out front, we're going to divide each of these by a plus 8, divide this side by a plus 8. These cancel out, and these cancel out. And you can see right here, you see I have an a squared and a minus 5 left over inside the parentheses. So I, after I factor out the factor of a plus 8, I have an a squared minus 5 left over. We're going to do a lot of practice with, practice with this next week, so if this seems a little fuzzy at first. Just come to class. We'll do a bunch of examples, and then we'll do a lot more of this next week.